Hello, Vance. Uh, today I will be introducing Hassan Ibn al Hahim, or as he's known in the Western world as Al Hans. Um, he is a incredibly important scientific figure in the Islamic world. He was before Galileo, he was around the time of Ptolemy, and he's an incredibly important scientist in the Islamic world. He's very, he's very well celebrated, especially in countries around the Middle East like Iraq and Afghanistan, so much so that he's found on currency. And uh, I would like to propose to you to add Hassan ibn al Hahim or al Hans to the uh, dimensions of nature curriculum. So let's begin. Who was al Hans? He is considered by many the first scientist. Uh, he was a scholar, a polymath, a philosopher, a theologian, uh, specifically of Islam, and he's an astronomer. A polymath, uh, just so you know, is from very basic research I found, it appears to be um, kind of a Western historical term for saying somebody from specifically from the Middle Eastern region of Islam who practices science but isn't doesn't fulfill all the Western definitions of scientist, so they ascribe the term polymath. So he was born in 956 AD in Basara, where uh, in the region where we now call Iraq, and. Um, that uh, city, Basara, was in a very important center of learning. There's a lot of books there uh, mentioned in one of the resources I found, something along the lines of um, 1,500 books, which may not seem like a lot now, but it was very important back then. And he died later in uh, 1040 AD in Cairo. He was 75 years old. So um, along, with his very sci uh, with, along with his many scientific achievements, he helped um, uh, along with his many scientific achievement, uh, achievements that would be beneficial to the course, he was also quite well. Uh, what he did was would also be quite would tie very well in with our uh, with our science and society theme of the course because he was uh, Islam uh, because he practiced Islam, and Islam is a religion that actually celebrates science and scientific achievement, and um, he lived in the. Uh, what is called the Islamic Golden Age, which is um, a period of really uh, strong mathematical achievements, strong astronomical achievements, um, even medicine achievements, and um, he is considered one of, the, one of the best scientists from this time, so he would be a great representative of diversity in this course. So what did he achieve? 